pretty crazy to think that something that's 87 years old and just started off out of some inspiration would literally be hosting people from countries all over the world right now in the year 2022. Hey everybody, what's going on? Nate here, and I am at one of the most beautiful places on earth, Yosemite, at the ski resort. That is right, there is a ski resort in Yosemite National Park, it is called Badger Pass. A couple of really cool things that I just learned about Badger, it is the oldest ski resort in California. Did you guys know that Badger Pass is the oldest resort in California? I didn't know that. You knew that? Yep. I, I've been skiing here for 20 years, and I just found that out like two years ago. That's crazy to think. It was in 1935 that this place was constructed and it also had the very first lift on the entire west. It even predates World War II. And up here on these slopes, you'd have people with really primitive gear, just wooden skis and wooden poles and enjoying themselves just like I'm getting ready to do today as well. Another cool thing about Badger Pass, there's a family living here in Yosemite called the Tresdiers, and they went to the 1928 Winter Olympics in Switzerland. And when they came back, they were so inspired by everything that was happening there and the way that the lodges and the chalets were designed, they actually incorporated that into the building of Badger Pass. And so when you look around here, even today in year 2022, you can totally see this Swiss chalet kind of vibey influence thing over here. It's all the original building still, so it's really cool. Anyways, we're gonna be hitting the slopes again. I probably got a few more runs in me, so we're gonna go out, hit it up, and get my money's worth. Okay, now I just need to remember where I put my snowboard. Ah, there it is. <laughs> You know that Yosemite also was almost the location of the 1932 Winter Olympics? Yeah, you know where they had it instead though? Lake Placid. Now you know something. All right, here we go. It's pretty crazy to think that something that's 87 years old and just started off out of some inspiration from attending a Winter Olympics halfway across the world would literally be hosting people from countries all over the world right now. It really speaks into how just having a dream and executing that dream, even if it's small, like with one lift, that's all they had, can turn into something that many nations, many people, many families for generation after generation can enjoy. Awesome, you guys. Dream big. You never know what you're gonna start and what it's gonna become 87 years down the road. Good job, Badger Pass. Well, not the way I wanted to end the day. I lost my GoPro somewhere up on the slope. So I could go back to my car, grab my snowboard and try to backtrack. See if I can't find it. This sucks. No luck on finding the GoPro. I just took a run down, backtracked. Didn't see anything. So hopefully if someone turns it in, I get it back. I'm coming back up tomorrow. It's gonna be missing a lot of footage on this video because it's on the GoPro, but we'll see what we can stitch together. Thanks for uh, watching this, even though it ended on a bit of a bummer note, it's still super fun. So why don't you guys make sure you get outside wherever you're at, go up to the slopes, go do a hike, enjoy your winter. And remember, like, follow, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.